over to visit Buster today. <laughs> Bandit is so excited. I wonder why. Wow, what a cool dinosaur, Buster. And Bandit has one too. <laughs> They're off to play at the park. <laughs> They're having so much fun playing with their dinosaur toys. But wait. What's that? Could it be? A dinosaur? <gasps> Buster and Bandit are using their imaginations to pretend they're on a dinosaur adventure. What was that? It's a T-Rex! Run! Go, go, go! <gasps> How will they get across? Quick, the dinosaur is coming! <gasps> Aha! Buster has his cowboy lasso! Go, Buster! But Bandit is a bit nervous! Come on, Bandit! You can do it! Bandit is facing his fears. Woo! Good job, Bandit! There's no way the T-Rex can reach them over here. Uh-oh. Or maybe it can! Look! They can hide behind that tree! Quick, Bandit! Wait a second. An egg? Oh, the T-Rex wasn't chasing them after all. It was looking for its egg. Oh no. It's heading towards that cliff. Quick, Buster. Phew. The egg is safe now. The dinosaur is so grateful to Buster. <laughs> what a fun game! And it wasn't really a dinosaur. It was just Diggly, and he was looking for his ball. <laughs> Everyone loves playing dinosaurs. Roar! Roar! What a fantastic day playing at the park. Hello, Tony Truck. Hmm, Tony doesn't seem to be keeping an eye on the road. Oh look, it's Frankie the Frog. He's come to say hello. Watch out, Tony. Phew, that was a close one. Oh no, it looks like Tony has lost some of his packages. You have to be careful next time, Frankie. Tony almost hit you. Ha, ah, what a cheeky frog. Look, Tony has left behind some of his packages. It looks like a bottle of bubble bath. It looks like Frankie has had a great idea. Ha, look at him go. Where are you rolling off to now? There's bubbles coming out of the bottle. Hey, look, it's Buster the bus. I think Buster wants to see where Frankie is rolling. There's even more bubbles now. It looks like you've got a pair of bubbly glasses, Buster. Hey, Scout, why don't you come along too on this bubbly adventure? Scout wants to play in the bubbles. The bubbles are flying everywhere. Oh, I like your hat, Scout. <laughs> you look funny with a mustache, Buster. It looks like Frankie might be heading for that lake. I think this cheeky frog has had an idea. Into the lake he rolls. Look at him go. Bubbles everywhere. Wow, he's made a bubble bath. Look at all the bubbly bubbles bubbling. Go on, Buster and Scout. Jump on in. They're having so much fun playing in the bubbles. Ha, it looks like Frankie is the bubble captain of Bubble Lake. Here comes Scout with a gigantic bubble splash. So many bubbles everywhere. Oh, where's Frankie gone? 
<laughs> there he is. <gasps> it's time to go, I think. Bye bye, Frankie. Thanks for a bubbly adventure. <laughs> it's a brand new day, and it's time for Buster to head off to school. There's Diggly. They can go to school together. They're going to race to school. Whoosh! I wonder who will be fastest. Whoa! There's a little duckling in the road. He should be more careful. There's a mommy duck. She's trying to cross the road with her ducklings. But look out! Here comes Terry. Here comes the teacher, too. Oh, no! Phew! Thanks to Diggly and Buster, the duck family can cross the road safely. Aw, they're going to swim in that pond. Uh-oh, that duckling is walking back to the road. <laughs> Good job, Buster. Now the ducks are going back over the road. Buster and Diggly are helping them cross safely. Mommy Duck is crossing, too. Well done, everyone, for helping! <laughs> but Terry and the teacher want to get moving or they'll be late. Wait a minute. I think Buster has an idea. Hmm, what are they doing with those paints? White lines? And some signs? It's a duck crossing! Now the duck family can cross the road safely whenever they like. There's the teacher again. He's telling them to hurry up. The kids had better get to school or they'll be late. Nice work, everyone. Buster and Diggly are having so much fun playing with that remote-controlled car. Vroom, vroom! <laughs> Look at it go! Look, there's Mommy! She's coming to tell them lunch is ready. And she's reminding Buster to put his toys away. Buster is putting the controller away, but look, the car is still outside. Now Buster and Diggly are back to carry on playing. But, oh no! They can't see the toy car anywhere. Where could it be? Could it be in the toy box? No. Maybe it's in the dustbin. No. Maybe it's buried under the autumn leaves. It must be here somewhere. <gasps> Wait, I think Buster has an idea. If they use the control, listen. The car's engine. Where's the noise coming from? Under that pile of leaves? Hooray! They found the toy car! But wait, now the controller is missing! Where did it go? Oh, there it is! Well spotted, Buster! Now Diggly and Buster can have fun playing with their remote-controlled car again! But this time, they'll remember to put their toys back in the toy box when they're finished with them! Good job! Whoa! Buster and his friends have been out trick-or-treating for Halloween. Buster has lots of tasty sweets in his bucket. Grandpa reminds Buster that he shouldn't eat too many sweets at once. Now Buster's up in his room. But now, no one is watching. He's eating all the sweets he can. Ouch! That really hurt! Oh no! Buster has a wobbly tooth! That's really frightening! 
Mommy's come to fetch Buster. It's dinner time, but he's hiding his wobbly tooth. I don't think he wants anyone to know. Dinner's ready. Lots of tasty vegetables. But Buster doesn't want to eat. Mommy can tell something has upset Buster. He's showing her his wobbly tooth. Aw. Grandpa knows what to do. He tells Buster to take a bite of that sweet corn. Look! Buster's tooth has fallen out. That wasn't so bad. Buster feels much better now. Now it's time for bed. <laughs> Mommy tells Buster to put the tooth under his pillow. Whilst he's asleep, the tooth fairy will come to collect it. Buster wakes up the next morning and... Whoa! A big gold star! Buster is going to wear that proudly. Now he knows there's nothing to worry about with a wobbly tooth. Buster and Mommy are decorating the house for Halloween. But look, they still need a pumpkin. Looks like there are pumpkins for sale this way. Buster and Grandpa will go and fetch one. Whoa! So many pumpkins to choose from! Buster wants this big one. Now, Grandpa's going to carve a face into the pumpkin and turn it into a jack-o'-lantern. Eyes, a mouth, and a nose. But what's Buster seen? A sheet? Hmm. Oh, Buster pretended to be a ghost and scared Grandpa. But now the pumpkin is rolling away. Oh no, it's rolling towards the road. Phew, he just missed it. Quick, Buster and Grandpa are chasing after the runaway pumpkin. Buster's almost got it. Oops. There's Diggly building a wall. Oh dear, the pumpkin spooked him. Now it's rolling away again. No time to stop and play. They've got to keep chasing it. Poor Grandpa is out of breath. It's up to Buster to catch the pumpkin. Quick, it's heading for that pond. Buster's jumping for it. Well done, Buster. It rolled right into place outside the front door. Phew, that was lucky. <laughs> Mommy looks very pleased. Good job, Buster and Grandpa. <laughs> hey, Buster. Oh no, Buster looks really ill. <laughs> Hello, Scout. I think Scout wants to play. I don't think Buster is well enough to play today. Buster is feeling really ill. Quick, Scout, go and get some help. Oh, poor Buster. It'll be okay. We all get poorly now and then. Oh, look! Scout has brought Amber the ambulance to have a look at Buster. Great idea, Scout. Amber will know what to do to make Buster feel better. It looks like Amber the ambulance is helping Buster back into his garage. Let's see if she can find what's wrong with Buster. Firstly, let's check Buster's tires. Oh, look, this one has lost all of its air. It needs pumping up. There we go. That's better. Buster looks better already. Oh, but you're still a bit under the weather. Ah, uh, yes. Let's check Buster's temperature with a thermometer. It doesn't look good, Buster. It's time for Amber to check Buster's engine. Oh no! Buster's leaking oil! No wonder he's not feeling well. Amber will fix this with her spanner. It's okay, Buster. It'll be done soon. Just a few more turns. There we go. Great job, Amber! Buster looks like he's back to his normal self again. I think you're well enough to go out and play, Buster. 
<laughs> he seems very pleased. That's the buster we know and love. It's time for Amber to head off. Bye, Amber. Thank you for looking after Buster. <laughs> Off Scout and Buster go to play. Bye. Happy holidays, Buster. Oh, no. Buster doesn't look very happy, does he? Let's go and see what's wrong with him. Buster seems very bored. Has he run out of things to do? <gasps> Did you hear that, everyone? Yes, it's Buster's friend, the Robin. But where could he be? I can't see him anywhere, can you? That's a very big sigh from Buster. <gasps> oh, look, there he is. And he's carrying Buster's bobble. I think he wants you to follow him, Buster. Go on, let's see what he wants to show you. Oh, he's bringing back a scarf. Great idea, Buster. You should both build a snowman. Look at him, using his wheels to pile up all the snow. Clever Buster. Wow, it's already taking shape. And there's the head. Well done, Robin. A snowman isn't complete without his scarf. <gasps> what are those pieces of coal for? Of course. Now the Robin's gone to find something else. Oh, yes. A carrot for their snowman's nose. What a fantastic snowman. But look, Buster thinks something's missing. Wow, that's a big gust of wind. And look, it's blown a top hat to Buster and the Robin. That's what was missing. Well done, Buster. The Robin certainly agrees. <laughs> oh, wow. The snowman has come alive. Buster is so excited. Buster now has not only the Robin to play with, but his new snowman friend, too. Happy holidays, everyone. It's a sunny day in the park, and everyone is having a great time playing together. Look, Buster has a skipping rope. Ready, Buster? That's it. Hop over the rope. Phew, that was tiring. What a great day. And now it's time to go home. But, uh-oh, that's an awful lot of mess they've left behind. Buster doesn't want to clean up. But look, Scout and Diggly are stopping him. They can't leave all this behind without cleaning up. It won't take long to clean up. It could even be fun. Scout's grabbing the skipping rope to show how easy it is. All the toys need to go back into the toy box. <laughs> Bouncing the soccer ball between them. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Diggly's collecting up all the small toys. Passing the toy box between them. This is almost like a game. Next, the cone. Look, Scout's catching them on her bonnet. Now Buster's collapsing the goal. Nice work. Everything is back in the toy box. You're all done. That wasn't so hard. Oops, Buster nudged the toy box, and now it's rolling off down the hill. Buster, Scout, and Diggly are all chasing after it as fast as they can. The toy box is tumbling off the road. Oh no, it's fallen over, and all the toys have spilled out. After all that hard work. What's Scout up to? <laughs> She's right. They can have just as much fun cleaning it up all over again. Everything will be cleaned up again in no time. There! Well done, everyone! <laughs> Buster, Ash, and Mira are playing hide-and-seek tag in the soft play area. There's Buster hiding in the ball pit. Ash has found him! Now Ash is trying to tag Buster. Quick, Buster! Ash is right behind you! Oops! Looks like you found Mira. Tag. Well done, Ash. You got him. There's Daddy Bus. He says it's time to go. But Buster, Ash, and Mira don't want to leave yet. Looks like they have a plan. Run! And the game is on. Daddy Bus is trying to catch Buster, but Buster is too quick. 
Almost. Oh no, Daddy Bus has crashed into the ball pit. It's the perfect time to find somewhere to hide. Where should they go? Mira has found a place behind the play blocks. Buster has seen a space behind the slide. But Ash is already there. Quick, Buster, quick! Daddy Bus is back on the hunt for them. Now where is Buster? There he is, but Daddy Bus hasn't seen him yet. Daddy Bus spots some wheels by the play blocks. Hmm, who could it be? It's Mira! Well found, Daddy Bus. Now where could the others be? What was that moving behind the slide? Boo! There's Ash! But where's Buster? There he is, hiding behind the tunnel. Looks like he has an idea to distract Daddy Bus. <gasps> What's that? A bouncy ball. Daddy Bus is going to investigate. Now Buster can find a new hiding spot. That's very sneaky. <laughs> Maybe Buster can use that trampoline to help him hide. Hmm, Daddy Bus still can't find Buster anywhere. He's found a new hiding spot in the ball pit. Oh well, Daddy Bus, Ash, and Mira decide that it's time to go. Oh no, did they leave without Buster? We found you. That was very sneaky. Well done, guys. Now it's really time to go. What a fun day. Daddy Bus and Buster are visiting the river today. What are they going to get up to? Oh, boats. How exciting. Buster wants to ride the boat. But wait. Not yet. First, Daddy Bus wants to teach Buster how to tie a strong knot so the boat doesn't float away. Daddy Bus has tied a great knot. Now it's Buster's turn. Aw, nearly there. That's okay, Buster. Tying strong knots is really hard. Daddy Bus is going to show Buster how to do it again. But Buster isn't very interested in tying knots. Hmm, the boat is right there. And Daddy is concentrating very hard on his knot. Buster's off. This is much more fun. Oh no, the boat wasn't tied to the dock. The river is carrying Buster away. Buster's trying to paddle back, but he can't seem to steer. Daddy Bus to the rescue. Uh-oh, that boat has a leak. He needs to find another way. Buster is floating even further down the river. Careful, Daddy Bus. What's Buster going to do? Oh, there's a bridge. Buster's grabbing on. Phew. Oh no, the pole broke off. Daddy Bus just missed him. Look out! Uh-oh, Buster has spotted rocks ahead. But he can use the wooden pole to steer away from them. It's working! Good thinking, Buster. Oh no, the pole snapped! And look, a waterfall ahead! What's Daddy pointing to? A rope! Perfect! The waterfall isn't far away now. You can do it! Go, Buster! Nice throw! Daddy Bus is pulling Buster back to the shore. Nearly there. Just a bit further. Phew! Back on dry land. Now Buster and Daddy are fishing instead. That's 
it's much more relaxing. Buster, Bandit, and Mira are outside playing with their soccer ball. Daddy Bus is fishing. <sighs> he hasn't caught any fish yet. Buster has some great skills. Whoa, and so does Mira. That's a big kick, Bandit. Watch out, Mira. Oh no, the ball knocked Mira's hat off. Where did it go? It's not over here. It's definitely not over there. Mira is upset that her favorite hat is missing. Don't worry, Mira. We'll help you find it. Buster has an idea. We can look for the hat using our imagination. Now we can turn the search into a fun game. Off they go. It's time to look for that hat. Whoa, those are very big footprints. They decide to follow them and see where they go. Stop. What's that up ahead? <gasps> it's a dinosaur! And he's wearing Mira's hat! Uh-oh! Run! They're going as fast as they can, but the dinosaur isn't far behind. And Buster spots a big volcano up ahead. They've got to get over that puddle. Buster and Mira make it, but oh no! Bandit gets stuck! Buster is trying to help Bandit get out. <gasps> Uh-oh! The dinosaur caught up with them! He looks very scary! But what's the dinosaur doing? He's seen his reflection! And I think he likes the hat. But that's Mira's hat, and she wants it back. Looks like she has an idea. <laughs> wow! Nice shot, Mira! The ball knocks the hat right off! Oh no! But looks like the hat is flying straight towards the volcano! How are they going to get it back now? Buster can do it using his imagination! It's Super Buster! Off he flies to save the hat! It's getting closer and closer to the volcano! He needs to be quick! Go, Buster! He got it! Buster, you're a great friend. <laughs> they played a fun game, and Mira got her favorite hat back. <laughs> Everything is more fun when you use your imagination. <laughs> Daddy Bus is reading a book about wildlife. There are so many amazing animals. Bah! What was that? Buster's <laughs> taking photos with his new camera. <laughs> what a silly picture, Daddy. <laughs> it's given Daddy an idea. <laughs> Daddy Bus and Buster are on a wildlife scavenger hunt to find <laughs> this red and blue butterfly. Wow! Buster is determined to find it. <gasps> there it is! Buster, behind you! Oh no, they didn't see it! Maybe the butterfly is hiding in that long grass? Hmm. <laughs> Let's check it out! Oh look! Buster has spotted something! <laughs> Snap! Wait a second! It wasn't the red butterfly! It was Ash the fire truck with his mommy! <laughs> Buster takes a photo for them. What a nice thing to do, Buster. Buster, look up! Quick! There's the butterfly! Oh no! He missed it again! Aha! Buster knows where they should look next. Maybe the butterfly will be by the lake. <laughs> hmm. <gasps> there it is! There's the butterfly! <laughs> Steady, Buster. Don't scare it away. Oh no! Don't worry, Buster. 
You just have to be patient. What's that? It's red and blue. Oh no, not again. It was just teacher's red bow tie. It's a great photo though, Buster. Mm. <laughs> Poor Buster. He's upset he hasn't found the butterfly yet. It's okay, Buster. You just need to be patient. <gasps> there it is. Buster, look up. Buster, look up. <laughs> That's it. Take a deep breath and be patient. He's getting some amazing photos of all the wildlife. <gasps> There's the butterfly! <gasps> Quick! Go, Buster! <laughs> oh. <laughs> he finally managed to get the photo, and it was definitely worth the wait. Buster is excited to spend the day with Grandpa. And Grandpa's looking at a beautiful cake. <laughs> Grandpa has an idea! They should bake the cake together. Buster and Grandpa have come to the supermarket to get the ingredients. Flour, eggs, milk, and icing sugar. Uh. <laughs> Oop. Who's that? It's Mira! Along with Terry. Buster rushes to get the ingredients. But Grandpa warns him not to be hasty. Buster's looking for flour. Bingo! He's found it! And so has Mira. Uh-oh. Looks like they've got the same list of ingredients. Whoa! They both want the same bag. Oops! Mira and Buster are in the race to find out who gets all the ingredients first. Buster's come to get the milk. He got it first! Off he goes, Mira! Whoops! Mira, you spooked the teacher! <laughs> she grabbed some milk, too. Slow down, you guys! Whoa! It's Grandpa and Terry! Both of them move very slowly. <laughs> you sure are smart and sly, Buster. Off they go again. Oh, look! There are the eggs! Oh, no! Buster dropped the eggs! And... Mira spotted the last bag of icing sugar. Mira sprints off to get it. But, oh no! Mira lost balance and crashed into the shelf! Buster grabs the last bag of icing sugar. But Mira's upset. Buster offers her the icing sugar. And she wants him to have it. Grandpa and Terry are surprised to see Mira in a mess. Buster's got a plan. Aw, looks like Buster and Mira shared the icing sugar to bake one big cake. The cake tastes delicious. Great teamwork, Mira and Buster. It's another exciting day at school for Buster and his friends. Today, they are making Mother's Day cards. Look, teacher is showing them how to do it. Fold it in half and make a crease. Well done, Buster. But what is Bandit up to? Wow, look at all those decorations. Let's craft. Oh, Bandit, he's turned his card into a paper airplane and it's gone flying. Buster is starting with some glue. Oops, the glue is stuck to his wheel. And now there's glitter everywhere. Oh dear, Buster. The glue just won't budge. Hmm, what can Buster use to remove the glue? Aha, a spoon. Nope, that didn't work. 
Uh-oh, and now the spoon is stuck to his other wheel. Buster asks Scout for some help. Scout tries to pull off the glue bottle. Nope, that didn't work either. Oh no, now Scout is stuck as well. Watch out, Scout. Oh dear, this isn't going to plan. Bandit is finding all of this very funny. And the poor teacher is too distracted by Bandit's plane, he can't see what's going on. Oops, they've knocked over Ash's water. But hang on, the water has loosened the spoon. Buster has an idea. Ash is using his hose to unstick the glue. Hooray, it worked. Oh dear, what a mess. Mommy Bus is here to take Buster home. And look, Buster is giving her the special Mother's Day card. She loves it. Happy Mother's Day, Mommy Bus. Uh-oh, not again. Buster and Daddy Bus are having a day out at the park. Uh-oh, careful, Daddy. They're going to play some soccer together. It's time for kickoff. Buster passes the ball and… Uh-oh, looks like Daddy hasn't quite got the hang of this. But Buster shows him how it's done. Time for a penalty shootout. Buster shoots and he scores! Oh no! Daddy Bus, are you alright? Phew, he's okay. Now it's Buster's turn to be in goal. Daddy looks determined. Whoops, the ball's gone flying up in the air. Oh look, it's Ash and Mommy Fire Truck. Buster is inviting them to join the game. Great idea, Buster. It's buses versus fire trucks. Let's go. Buster takes the ball. Ash dives in front. Mommy shoots for goal and she misses. Oops. I think Buster has another idea. I wonder what it is. Ash and Buster are teaming up. It's now kids versus parents. Who's going to win? Ash starts. Daddy takes the ball, but Ash tackles him. He passes to Buster. And Buster scores! Go, Buster! What great teamwork, everyone! They are both very tired as Daddy drives Buster home after a great day out. Oh, look, it's Mommy Bus. Buster waves goodbye to Daddy Bus. But wait, Buster is giving Daddy Bus the soccer ball. <laughs> he does need the practice. I wonder what Buster's going to learn at school today. Oh, a volcano. Wow. They're going to do an experiment. The teacher is showing them what to do. First, a drop of white powder. Then three drops of food coloring. Then some vinegar to make it all bubbly. Wow, it looks like an erupting volcano. Isn't that amazing? Everyone is so excited. They're going to do the experiment all by themselves. What a mess. It looks like Bandit didn't do it right. Oh no, Scouts didn't go right either. Maybe Buster? Buster has made just as much mess as the others. Why isn't it working? Can Ash get it right? Buster is going to check. Ash is still putting ingredients in. Whoa! It worked! Nice work, Ash! But how did Ash get it right when everyone else's went wrong? Oh, he followed the instructions on the board. What a good idea. The teacher is proud of Ash. Now the others are going to try again. But first, they check what they need to do. One drop of white powder. Then three drops of food coloring. Then some vinegar to make it all bubbly. Hooray! It's working! The volcanoes are all bubbling over. Don't they look great? 
<laughs> Good job, everyone! <laughs> it's amazing what you can do when you follow the instructions. <laughs> the teacher is so proud of everyone! <laughs> <laughs>